Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at how to do an exact counts of text items that are case sensitive. But before we jump into that, please take a minute to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you will get a notice whenever I put out a new video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also find me at any of the social media sites you see here. So now, let's check out today's topic. So here's our scenario. I have a table here, and the table is just called Table 1. And it has the date, day, and shift of an individual employee for three months from March 1st all the way through May 31st. In the shift column, there's an indication or an upper or lower case D or an upper or lower case N, and here's what those mean, a capital N or an uppercase N means night shift alone, lowercase night shift with others, capital D is day shift alone, small d day shift with others. And I want to get this information from my table. All the night shifts they work, the day shifts, night shifts alone, night shifts with others, day shifts alone, day shifts with others. And then I also want to get weekend night or day shifts alone and weekend night or day shifts with others. So first of all, all night shifts. So I'm just going to use the equals count if function. And my range is going to be my shift column, comma. And I can select either a uppercase N or lowercase N because regardless of which I choose, I'm going to get 32. So by choosing an uppercase N, I get 32. If I change that to cell A2, I still get 32 because count if is not case sensitive. If I want all the day shifts, again, equals count if. I'll again choose my shift column, comma, and I can choose either uppercase or lowercase d close my parentheses, hit enter, and I get 46. Now, how do we do night shifts alone? How do we just count the capital N's and not the lowercase n's? Well, to do that, we're going to use the sum function and the exact function. And in my exact function, I'll choose, again, the shift column, comma, night shifts alone, I want uppercase n, close my exact function, close my sum function, hit enter, and I get zero. The reason I get zero is if I click inside the sum function, choose the range there, and hit F9, I get a series of trues and falses. Excel can't add trues and falses. It can only add numbers. So I have to convert trues and falses to their numeric values, ones and zeros. So in order to do that, there's a few different ways. I can multiply the exact function times one. That will convert them to ones and zeros. I can also divide by one. That'll do the same thing. Or lastly, I can put a double negative in front of the function, and that will also convert those trues and falses to ones and zeros. I'm just going to leave it as multiplying times one. And because I have these four in order, night shifts alone with others, day shifts alone, and day shifts with others, which is the same order I have these, I can actually just copy these down because my cell reference is a relative cell reference. So as I copy it, it converts the A1, A2, A3, and A4, and that follows right with the order I have those. Again, I could have typed in an N, a capital N or lowercase n in quotes, or reference some other cell if necessary, but this was just convenient for this exercise. The last two are a little bit more challenging. And just for simplicity's sake, here I'm just going to copy in the formula that I have, and then I'll go through and explain it. And again, because of the way I have this structured, I can just copy it down, and it will give me the difference between the shifts that he did alone on the weekends and the shifts that this employee did with others on the weekends. So let's take a look at the formula and break it down. So I'm using the sum product function. 
along with the exact function. And what I've done here is I've taken this group here, which takes the exact function for capital N or the uppercase N, which is night shifts alone, and for uppercase D, which is the day shifts alone, and that's going to give me a series of zeros and ones. Notice I added them together, so that makes that an OR function. So I'm saying give me the ones that have an uppercase N or give me the count of the ones that have an uppercase D. And by the plus sign, that gives me that OR option. Then I'm multiplying that times a second group, which is which ones of these on the day column equals Saturday and OR, because I'm using the plus sign, which ones equals Sunday. And again, I get a series of ones and zeros. And then when Excel multiplies those two groups times each other, I get a final series of zeros and ones. And those ones will just be where I have an uppercase N or D and where the day is either a Saturday or a Sunday. And that's how you can do this in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so to any of the social networks you see here. Thanks a lot. Have a great day and happy excelling.